M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. There is new firmware for the Uniden 260DN and 160DN. So we're gonna do both within this video. So go to the download section. I will provide the link in the description, but you can see it here where it says downloads. And you've got two programs you can download. One is just the software for programming the radio, which we have here, which works really well. Okay, very pleased with it. Nice and simple, you've got the banks, the scam banks. It's, I think it's quite simple software to use. But anyway, that's not the one we want. We want the firmware update. So we're gonna click with the software update. You get the white, the white background. Let me show you here. If you look at the bottom here, you'll see there's a little paw and you have one with a white background and red, and then you have a little red paw. The red paw is the firmware. The white one is the software for programming. So we're gonna double click the firmware one, and this little window is gonna open, and it's gonna ask for the model. So we're connected via the USB cable, as you can see there, and I just here, I've got an adapter, so I, I actually use a USB-C cable, but you don't have to use that. Um, you can use the original. Now the new firmware, as you can see here, is version 1.0102, and we're connected to the 160. We're gonna go next. And we're gonna to listen to what the instructions say. Connect the scanner to your PC using the USB cable included with your scanner. Turn on the scanner, and please install virtual serial driver if you haven't so yeah I've done that and the scanners on we're going to click OK now we select our COM port how do we know our COM port we right click the Windows squares device manager and I'll be providing all the links you need in the description double click COM there you are USB serial which is there it's 15 and we're going to go 15 or we can actually or should we try auto detect give that a go for fun Try the 15 again, that was my mistake. Okay, there we go, next. And we go okay, and this time we will select 15. And then go next. Took a while, but eventually it detected it. And then we're gonna go next. And it says here 160 DN, warning, click start. And then we'll wait for this to populate. And the scanner says, writing, it's gone blank, the screen's gone blank. <laughs> Always scary when you do firmware. Done. It reboots. Happy with that. So now we're going to switch over the cable and plug it into the 260. Plugged in now. Fingers crossed. Do the same thing again. This time we're going to tell it the 260. And we'll go next. Connect the cable to the PC. Just making sure it's connected and there it is at 15. Click OK. And last time I selected 15 and then I clicked auto detect and I waited and it found it. I mean, they're, they're virtually the same devices. A lot of the updates are for NXDN. It took a while and it feels like it's not gonna do it, but it did. Click OK, then go Next. You get the warning, 260DN, which you can't see anymore. Click Start. There's the firmware going in. It says writing mode on the device. And we're all up to date. 
We'll just quickly see if we can find the change log. But I've read it yesterday. Someone sent it me, and it, it was all NXDN tweaks. Version 1.01.02. Screen goes blank. All done. Comes back on. Very happy with that. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll find out the, uh, the NXDN changes and I'll put them in the description. Bye for now.